Hey guys, welcome back to Revitless. I'm Sandeep and in today's video we're doing something interesting and kind of a follow-on of a previous video that we did. So last week we actually compared the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now I know that these two phones are leagues apart in terms of both the pricing and what they offer overall as a smartphone. But both of them also offer particular emphasis in terms of the camera setup. Now spoiler alert for those of you who have actually seen that video. Uh, if you haven't seen it already I would suggest go ahead and check that video out. I'll include a link in the description below and also maybe add a card here. And I would suggest checking it out because it'll add more context to this particular video. But again, spoiler alert, it performs exceedingly well and very close to the 11 Pro Max in terms of the primary camera performance at least in terms of photos. Now many of you ask me how would it perform if you add a Gcam mod on top of it and considering how Gcam mod or Google camera apps have the uh, ability to kind of transform a mid-range smartphone sensor or even a low-end smartphone sensor into something that's much better, it also piqued my interest in terms of finding out how well it can perform. But one of the issues with the Note 8 Pro is that it comes with the MediaTek chipset and currently there is no Gcam port available for it or at least one that supports the phone. But there is another phone which we can kind of use and kind of understand the results we can get and that is the Redmi Note 8. So considering how I said, again the Gcam mod is able to transform a lower end phone into a higher end phone in terms of the image quality, why not try it with the Note 8? The Note 8 supports Gcam mod, it comes with a Snapdragon chipset so it's very easy and although there's no specific version available for the Note 8 yet, it still does mean that we could possibly see a huge increase in terms of the quality, in terms of the output. And in this video, we'll be checking the Gcam, uh, Gcam mod of the Note 8 and comparing it to the 11 Pro Max and seeing just how close it can get and whether there's actually a huge difference compared to the Note 8 Pro or whether it can even beat the Note 8 Pro in terms of the similarity and the closeness to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now before we get started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up at the end if you happen to enjoy this video. And we'll also be doing a giveaway of the Redmi Note 8 Pro, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win one of those for yourself as well. The Redmi Note 8 comes with the primary 48 megapixel half inch sensor with f1.79 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. Apart from this sensor, which is different from the 64 megapixel sensor on the Note 8 Pro, the rest of the three sensors are the same, which means that you still get an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle camera, as well as a 2 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel macro camera as well. But in this video, we'll be comparing only the Gcam mod samples with the samples from the iPhone 11 Pro Max because even the costlier Note 8 Pro couldn't match the iPhone 11 Pro Max in certain scenarios as expected, so it would be unfair to give the Note 8 a go without the Gcam mod. So as a result, we'll compare just the primary cameras at the back for this test and even the front-facing cameras. I'll link the Gcam mod in the description below for you to download as well. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a primary 12 megapixel f1.8 camera with optical image stabilization, telephoto 12 megapixel camera with 2x the focal length, f2 aperture with optical image stabilization, and finally ultra wide 12 megapixel camera with f2.4 aperture and 120 degree field of view. I'm going to start with these two images and let you guess which one is taken by which phone. Both are very impressive in terms of dynamic range and colors are also pretty great. Only that the image on the left is a bit more aggressive in terms of keeping the highlights in check and as a result creates a darker looking frame. Zooming in reveals good sharpness and detail retained on both but slight differences in the way the color is rendered. The image on the left is more greenish which in this case tends to be more towards the unnatural side while the image on the right captures the green perfectly. Zooming in further reveals that the image on the left has ever so slightly better sharpness and detail than the one on the right. Now if you're wondering, the image on the left is captured with the Note 8 and the right is with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We captured it using the night sight mode on the Note 8 Gcam mod and it's really impressive. At a glance, they both are practically identical and equally impressive and capturing without the night sight also gives good results but less impressive and a tad bit less accurate as well, so we suggest using it even in daylight. There's slight issues with the saturation especially when it comes to foliage where Gcam tends to oversaturate and looks artificial. Dynamic range is slightly better on the iPhone but sharpness and detail are better on the Note 8. Gcam 2 captures 12 megapixel pixel bin photos as a result and as we saw in the Note 8 Pro comparison, the benefits of pixel binning are evident here too. And lastly, the Note 8 also adds more contrast to a scene. However, the Gcam mod isn't as consistent. In this situation, it tries a bit too much and while more of this shadow region is visible, it pushes the sensor to its limits and causes way too much color noise and purple fringing on the lower portion of the image. This happens in other scenes too where the disparity between the shadows and highlights is too much, such as in this shot where you can see a faded look and color cast on the Note 8 shot. 
but overall very impressive results from the Note 8G cam so far. Now let's look at the low light images. Here too let's compare the night sight images with the night mode on the iPhone. At a glance the iPhone manages to get the colors right while the Note 8 tends to make everything more blue and even yellowish tones white. Here too surprisingly there is even more detail and sharpness on the Note 8 photo in some scenes compared to the iPhone even in low light conditions. But here again there is some inconsistency because it's using a GCAM mod where at times the sharpness does go haywire and in fact creates worse looking images than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. In terms of the front facing camera, both the phones capture surprisingly similar looking photos but just with a narrower field of view on the iPhone by default. However, the iPhone can also capture a wider angle selfie if you want it to and in terms of detailing as well, they are both quite similar and so is the color reproduction. Now time for the portrait mode. Portrait mode doesn't work with objects with the Gcam mod so we can't compare that. Not even animals, so human subjects are the only way to go. The iPhone has a better blur that's also stronger and the Gcam mod blur tends to get a bit weak when you move further away from the subject. It also has an overall darker look and feel which looks worse at a glance. But when you zoom in you'll see some other benefits in terms of sharpness and detailing which is better on the Note 8 short but it also does make my face look a bit weird and in terms of edge detection too you'll see that my ears are blurred out on the Note 8 Gcam short. The same issue is there with my skin tone and edge detection is also carried over to the rest of my head where it misses out certain portions and blurs out the others. For front portraits the issue of inferior edge detection is again present on the Note 8 where it blurs out my ears and misses some portions around my head. The iPhone isn't perfect either and it blurred out my shirt and tiny portion around my head is a bit weird but is much better compared to the Note 8. So that was the camera comparison between the Redmi Note 8 and iPhone 11 Pro Max. To be honest, I didn't really expect those results. Those are quite surprising and in many instances, uh, the Note 8 is surprisingly good and in fact, in some instances, even better than what the iPhone 11 Pro Max could give. And of course, that credit primarily goes to Gcam mod. Google has done something incredible, uh, you know, with the Gcam mod and uh, I mean with Gcam, but obviously when it comes to other smartphones as well, you know, without changing anything related to hardware, just with software processing, there's a, such a huge difference in terms of the results and something that can even combat a flagship smartphone. And that is certainly very, very impressive. Now, of course, the results are only bound to get better considering this is not a version that's optimized particularly for the Note 8, but actually a version that is meant for the Note 7 and is still working pretty well. The Note 7 series is what it was running on and now it's still working really well on the Note 8 and I'm sure that with further updates, issues that we had, small issues such as the consistency in terms of the output of images will be improved, the edge detection will be improved, portrait mode will be improved and all those missing links will come together and overall that will make this Note 8 a really, really solid smartphone in terms of the capabilities as a camera phone as well so if you're looking for a solid camera phone uh, in the budget segment in in terms of below 20k i think the note 8 with the gcam mod is good enough and you don't really need a note 8 pro uh, in fact uh, you know to kind of get you uh, through whatever photos or videos that you're taking of course the note 8 pro uh, I mean, uh, will have better quality with the primary camera if you're using the default camera app which you have to if you want to take photos with the macro camera or if you want to take uh, photos with the ultra wide angle camera but other than that the gcam mod is still pretty stable very solid and i would suggest you know for those of you who still want a good smartphone under 20k with re really good camera quality the note 8 is a great pick now on to how you can win um uh so the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 1 lakh 10,000 rupees, the Note 8, 10,000 rupees. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that you can get such good image quality with the Note 8, but really impressive and really promising. Um, and we'll also be bringing out camera reviews of the same pretty soon. So do stay tuned for that. Now on to how you can win the Redmi Note 8 Pro from us. So all you have to do is subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's about it and leave us a comment in the comment section below on this video telling us why you would like to win a Redmi Note 8 Pro and how Revetless has helped you 
make an informed decision make an informed decision regarding buying a smartphone or whatever how revitalis has changed your life how it has helped you in any way let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching this video see you again in the next one